Hey everybody, how's it going? Look, my trailer's empty. Went to the dump this morning and got rid of all the uh, crap that I ripped out of my ceiling in the garage. So, we'll head on down to Garage Town. I just got back from the dump and it's pretty warm out today. But it's comfortable in here. Let's see, what is it in here? 75, 75. So my new blades came in. Right after I sharp my old ones. Measured them up against my old ones and uh, these are the EXT, the extreme hardness and toughness. So these are the the better blades, they're supposed to have a little bit more strength to them, and I got my, what I thought I was ordering was, where's that one bottle I had? Well, I got a humongous bottle of stable. Treats up to 320 gallons. So, this is huge compared to the other one. I didn't pay attention to the size. What did I do with that freaking bottle? Show you a comparison of it. I don't know. I can't figure out what I do half the damn time. But um, the last set of mower blades I put on my mower were just a little bit long. And when I fired the mower up, it, uh, it sounded fine. And then all of a sudden it started hitting the deck when it started turning. So I had to shave off some of the this that was hitting the deck. But these match up exactly to what's on my machine now. So, and I bought some of this. Acrylic asphalt crack filler. And uh, made by Red Devil. So, as you can see, I got eight tubes of it. Because my driveway is a cracked mess, thanks to this winter. And uh, I did the reviews on it, because I got some uh, some concrete crap a uh, while ago. And it's supposed to... Concrete crack sealer. It's garbage. But I used some other crack filler on this. This big crack. And it works pretty good. I mean, I can't remember what it was. I think it was some type of an acrylic, but, man, what the hell did they do with that freaking can? Oh. Well, so, that's the big exciting news of the day. Yeah, this came in, I'm like, holy crap. I said, I, my other bottle's a third the size of this. But, at least I went to buying it for quite a long time. It's pretty funny. So I'm just still waiting on my belt. The original equipment belt for my lawnmower. That this seller is a piece of crap because uh, it's supposed to have been originally, it's supposed to have been delivered on eBay site. I ordered on the 7th, it's supposed to be delivered on the 16th. Or the, uh, no, on the 7th, and it's supposed to be delivered on the 14th, I think. Maybe it was the 16th. We'll just say the 16th. So I bought it. And now that's an $80 belt. And then it's supposed to be delivered on the 16th. If they said, if it doesn't show up on the 16th, call us, let us know. 16th came and went. So I go back and look at the freaking delivery date. It changed to the 19th. And then it says, if it doesn't arrive by the 19th, give us a call. I'm like, what kind of shit is this? You told me to give you a call on the 16th if the damn thing doesn't arrive because I talked to eBay. And now you pushed it three days ahead? You know, what kind of bullshit is that? You know? But, but if I don't deliver something on time, you know, all hell breaks loose when I sell something. 
Yeah, that's, that's some nice shit eBay pulled. And I'm going to be giving them a call and telling them just what I think of their trickery bullshit. While I'm sitting here baffled on where the hell I did with that stupid can. Oh, boy. I put some extra support on my ladder because a lot of time when I open this door, the ladder will swing out. So I put an extra hanger up here and then I put a bungee cord around it so it stays on the door. Because I've swung the door open quick and the ladder falls off, scares the shit out of you. But man, I hit it just right to the dump. I go up there, there's like one car just finishing up and he's pulling out and I'm pulling in. Sometimes there's a huge line all the way out to the road, which is like a thousand foot line. And it just takes forever. It's like, come on, come on. You know? But I can't believe I don't remember where I put that freaking bottle because I wouldn't have thrown it out because it had a little bit left in it. I don't know. See what happens when you get older? I don't even know where I put it. Hmm. Oh well. It would have been a funny comparison compared to the two. But the funniness just fell short. Ah, oh, crap. All right, whatever. Whatever, but... Yeah, so when it gets a nice cool day out, I'll be squirting some of this crap in my driveway. I might even need more than this, but... You know, people are giving pointers. Just don't... Just cut the tip fine. Just to squirt it in. You know? And then just hit it with a putty knife. Because the more cracks you got in your blacktop, the more the water is going to get under there, and it's going to freeze, and then it's going to break it up even more. So, I want to avoid that. Let's see, they got their little food in there. So, I bought some uh, Jack Link's bacon stuff. I don't eat it because it's already got too much fat on it, but my puppy never had bacon before. He went crazy for it. Junior was just having a good old time with the bacon. Then I let him try a French fry. He had a French fry. But he didn't like ketchup on the French fry. He just wanted a regular plain old French fry. Didn't you? Where are you? What are you doing over here? Huh? What are you doing over here, you goof? Are you rubbing your tummy in the heat? Huh? Bite, 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 bite. Every time he jumps up in the chair to see me, I got to get a kiss in the nose. Every time he sees me. I know. He's a good boy. I wish you stopped messing up the walkway here. You going to get a suntan? You going to get a suntan? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's what you get for eating like a pig. Never mind this stuff. He's got the porch covered and all this crap. He drags everything up the porch. I leaf blow it all off. I come back the next day. And then the porch looks like this again. Tree bark. All over. That's what he does. Oh, it's getting hot and muggy out. But not in the garage. All right, have a good one.